Welcome fellow recovering traditionalists to episode 152. Why don't you talk about time and money? Welcome to Build Math Minds, the podcast where fidelity to your students is greater than fidelity to your textbook. I'm your host, Christina Tonnevold, the recovering traditionalist and buildmathminds.com founder, where my mission is to change the way we teach elementary math to our kiddos. So are you ready to start building math minds and not just creating calculators? Let's get started. When I get emails and comments on the YouTube channel that are thank yous, it always brightens my day. If anything that I've ever done has helped you and your students out, please email in and let us know or comment over on the YouTube video. It's info at buildmathminds.com to send us an email. This week's positivity comes from Helen. In December, we did the first of our math strategy sessions. And let's just say we had some technical difficulties the first few minutes. After the session, Helen emailed us saying, Thanks so much for overcoming the technical challenge. The greatest gift this year was your informing my mindset and restoring the joy of figuring out mathematics and literally building our youth's math minds. Best wishes to you and your team for a happy and healthy holiday and new year. Well, thank you so much, Helen. And to you and all of those out there listening, I hope you have a wonderful 2024. In this week's episode, I'm answering the question, why don't you talk about time and money? Well, first off, my answer is I do, but not as much as the other things. So if you do want to watch any videos I've done about time and money, I actually have a playlist on my YouTube channel for all the videos that I do about time, measurement, data, and geometry. I'll put the link to that playlist on the show notes page, which is buildmathminds.com slash 152. Or if you go over to youtube.com slash buildmathminds, you can check out all the playlists that I have. So secondly, there is a real reason why I don't talk about them as much. And a short excerpt from the book, Learning and Teaching Early Math, The Learning Trajectories Approach, by Douglas Clements and Julie Sarama explains it pretty darn well. (laughs) On page 210, it says, when we were planning the National Research Council, NRC, report on early mathematics, NRC 2009, we confronted the common presence of the topics time, weight, and money in state standards. After reviewing the research, we decided that these were in many cases more appropriate as science or social studies rather than mathematical topics. Money is a useful representation to use in teaching and learning mathematics, but coin recognition is again, not mathematics. So that's it. That's my reason. (laughs) Most of the concepts of time, weight, and money are actually not mathematical concepts. They are great contexts, to use to write story problems about, but the actual learning of the concepts of time, weight, money are not math. They are either science or social studies concepts and should be addressed during that time. For example, measurement and money systems differ by the part of the world you live in, so they are better suited to be addressed during social studies. However, once students have an understanding of those systems, you can use those contexts for the word problems you are having students solve during your math time. Until next week, my fellow recovering traditionalists, keep building math minds.